Hey Duncan, how's it going? It's Yoni here. Uh, just having a look at your shot, it's looking really, really, really cool. Uh, very um, challenging as well, I think, to get kind of like these two scenes and this two music to actually work together, but it's looking good. And let's just have a look at it first, kind of like frame by frame, and then I'll just give you some general notes as well and some of the stuff that I see, okay? So. <clears throat> I really like um, her expression and all the stuff that she's doing here. I'm not too kind of like hot on the pose that she's got around frame uh, 78, where she's actually looking over, you know, the seats and looking back towards the end of the um, cinema. Um, I think the um, the pose really you need to turn her more in her seat so even though she's looking round it's more along the lines of you know she's actually even you know propping herself up with her shoulders or something like that where she's actually trying to use a bit more of her weight in the pose over here because currently it feels like she's got a lot of um, it's almost like she's half standing up and just because of the camera angle that you've got the body's really 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 straight so I don't want to see if you could get her into a position where you can really emphasize this turn back because I think that that's the most important part of this particular shot is really her conveying that she's expecting someone and that brings me back a little bit to the um, pose that she's got in frame 52 she looks off to the side really and it's more along the lines of you know I think you could maybe even miss this pose out. It's a sweet pose, but at the same time, I think that you could use this maybe as a breakdown or an in-between to get to the pose that you've got on frame 70, uh, 76 and get there just maybe a little bit faster. I'm not sure if you're trying to sync the music on the screen to the animation that she's doing, but I'd really say that think about, you know, even if she is going to do two beats there, really she'd know that the person that she's waiting for isn't back yet and that she'd be looking out for him much 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 quicker she wouldn't be looking one way and then oh maybe over here she knows she, he's probably not back yet and so when she goes up and goes for the walk out I'd say um, have a look at her pose especially around frame 137 because right here I just say you know what's the um, thing that she's going to do because she's kind of like getting up very quickly and it almost looks like she's a bit excited to me actually and she's running out so if she's desperate or she's nervous um, try to put her you know maybe in a way that you know she's ducking her head a little bit more so that she doesn't get in the way of the people she's crossing just that type of stuff that people do in the cinemas might sweeten up that pose just a little bit so instead of her coming up and running so kind of like she's not even tall she's quite bent down but you know it really emphasizing maybe a drop in the neck you know or something just to convey that you know she's trying to stay out of you know people's way that might help a little bit better and then <clears throat> With the um, shot, uh, the next shot, shot two, where we've got him and the girl on the counter, um, I'd really kind of like, um, she's got kind of like her hand on the counter, but the counter is really difficult to actually see just because it's glass. You can hardly see her hand on frame 172. So she's got one hand on the counter, she's got the drink on the counter as well, and it's just a little bit difficult to see. And I'd almost say that, you know, rather than having the mirrored type of texture there, you might want to give that a color, you know, and just have a little bit of reflection on top of that if you can sort that out in the text because it'll just make it look just a little bit sweeter and there's uh, things that you can do as well in terms of <clears throat> just getting this text that motion that she's doing at the beginning just a little bit clearer so the way that she has her hand on the counter and then she picks it up gives him the glass and then he looks down I'd almost say you know um, what's uh, something that you can push here a little bit more especially with him because he's the main character is you know where is his focus really because there's two things that he's doing here he's looking at the girl you know and feeling that connection and trying to get you know intense uh, with her and then he's ordering more stuff as well so I'd just say 
if he's um, very intent on the girl, make him order the um, what's his name, the popcorn, just uh, looking down and up again. So he's like, oh yeah, hey, how's it going? Popcorn, yeah, yeah, I'd like some popcorn. And his eyes kind of like stay fixed on her. Or if he actually is just, you know, being a bit more, a bit more suave and just going, yeah, hey, I'll have that drink. And yeah, I'll have this popcorn as well. Really, I'd try to make, uh, if he's not so intent on the girl, but he's just trying to be smooth and cool, you know, and he hasn't got really a romantic interest in her, throw in a blink when he's actually looking at her to make that look just a little bit less intense as well. So those are two ways that that shot could just go a little bit forward because the rest of it is pretty much working okay. I think that, yeah, even when he's kind of like going up and doing the point, I think you might need just to have a look at, you know, how he's going to do that point and maybe throw something in like a double tap or something like that. Just a very, 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 very small detail just to say, yeah, one of those and that will just make it a little bit clearer, especially since you don't have the, um, you know, any dialogue or anything else. Now, the shot that um, you've got in number three where we cut back to her, um, I'd really think that you've got to be a bit stronger with the door, and that's just a personal note in the sense of you really feel that you know she's got that door open because currently you can and see that she's probably opening it up a good you know amount for her to peek through, but from the camera angle that we're at, we can't really see anything of the outside, and that's again it's a very minor note, but it's just a layout note really that you know if she's going to open the door make her open the door more fully, give us about, you know, 30% of what the door frame is, you know, actually open so that we can actually see in this, we can just see a sliver of, you know, what's actually behind the door, just to convey as well that, you know, there's, she's looking at something and what she's looking, yes, it's the outside of the cinema, but just to show that a little bit visually. Uh, looking at her poses, uh, again, she's got two things on her mind here. One of them is, you know, she's looking out for him, and she's also looking at the screen. And evidently the screen is what is pulling her more than him at this point. But I'd say that it starts off with like that, and it would be better for her to take that thought that she's got of, oh, where is he, where is he, where is he, he's going to miss this, and oh, 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 you know, and cut back to the screen at that point. It just kind of like is really instead of having she's interested in the screen, she's interesting for a brief second about him and then she's interested in the, uh, in the screen again to really maybe play it out just in two beats uh, instead of three so that she looks out, she pushes the door open, she has a good look at him and then you know she turns around and I almost like that idea that she's got the um, glass is like held almost in the right position that she's going to and when she turns back she swoops straight in to the glasses themselves, that could be a nice little touch that you could uh, you could throw in there. So I'd just say, you know, start her off, you know, without the glasses on, you know, she's just holding them up, she pries open the door, she has a look, and then she kind of drops back and goes really quickly in. So I'd say that, you know, the poses that you've got from frame two, four, uh, 245, to bump 300, you really want to have a real fast in to those glasses. And 300, you know, that pose, you could hold it for quite a few frames. So it's almost like a dong, oh wow, you know, and maybe just a, you know, opening of the mouth there. And then kind of like have her, you know, when she puts the glasses on, be more like, yeah, you know, just r uh, and run forward. You've got pretty much, it's all there, but I just think that it's a bit, you know, it's just a bit, you know, there's a little bit too much, you know, stuff going on with the top of the chest right now, and maybe just a little bit more of getting that weight transfer on the hips. Would be a little, yeah. It's pretty much there, it just needs a little bit, uh, needed a little bit of polish, but you can really vary the timing on that and get that a little bit sharper. So when we cut back to him again, <clears throat> I think that, you know, you really want to mush him up a little bit more at this point, in the sense if you can get him in any way in frame 360 to be 
even more kind of like comfortable and you know melting into that pose in any way shape or form if you can get his arms spread out a little bit more his head literally you know just you know completely melting at that point because he's so in awe I think that will just push that pose just a little bit a little bit better his head just has to be lower somehow and smashed into that hand in just a little bit way uh, small layout note um, there's a poster that you've got in the background over there and it's of a um, bishop type character as well take that out just because you've only got a small section of it it's intersecting with his head as well if you wanted a poster or anything like that you should put it in the space that you've got on the top right hand side of screen and make sure it's not intersecting with anything it's just like a little poster that's on there and it's got to be something as well that's visual like coming soon or something that just conveys that idea of cinema rather than just being the title of any random movie just put something that's on the top of it that says coming soon and there's a picture underneath it and that's it keep it small um, so uh, again you've got two things here where she comes over and I think you've just got let's see how this plays out I wouldn't put the, um, he does an eye dart down, I wouldn't actually have him lower his eyes until she's put the popcorn on his, on the actual um, uh, counter, so that, you know, she dumps the popcorn, and you go, oh, popcorn, oh, yeah, yeah, popcorn, you know, and just have that little eye dart, you know, down there, and then, again, you know, with having that pose pushed there, you can be oh thank you you know and he can just you know rise up from there you know just with a little bit of an accent up, up like that and just hold uh, you know he touches her hand there uh, at one point and then I'd also say you know have a you know think about how her reaction is to that as well it's not a big movement as well but is it just like you know she feels it and she moves away the same way that somebody just bumps into you at some point or is it more like a bit of a sigh and she just drops you know her hair, her hands at that point and then coming to her at the end over here she does a really nice you know move over the screen um spacing wise I think the what you've got here is uh, you could push the um, over uh, the overlap on this a little bit more so that you get her feet to lock first the hips to actually sway in one direction and stop and then start pushing in the other direction and for the body just to snap a little bit as well so it's almost like feet stop first hips will stop ne uh, stop next and change direction and then the upper body will just wing over like that and then the upper body crashes into the seat bum goes next and legs go last so you can get her into pretty much what you've got here but just you've got it happening perfectly on frame 4, 5, 2 I just think you need to add in a few more frames there really just get that broken up a little bit more um, the, po the hand pose on 4, 4, 6 looks a bit funny if she's touching anything at that point in time just keep it loose should work absolutely fine and then when she comes in here she really locks into this um, you know position you know with her legs up to her chest and that to me seems a little bit too fast right now um, I think you might have to add a few more frames so that you can actually get that visual change because currently you're taking about you got 52 yeah from frame 53 you go pretty much into 60 it's like in six frames you get with your knees up and I think it would take you about you know a good you know half a second to a second maybe to get into that pose a little bit more I mean it can be fast it can be exaggerated but I think you're gonna need some more frames there it just feels to, uh, feels to me that that would be right and it would give you a bit of time to actually settle into that pose and then um, you've got a lot of stuff happening there as well because she's going to throw the glasses she's going to rise up her um, her, knee, uh, her knees to, uh, to her chest and that's a tough pose as well because I know that I've tried to do stuff like that with Bishop as well and it's always a pain um, but I'd say um, 
try to get her, because I know that you want a feeling of um, self-contained and happy, which I can read here. And I think that you're probably gonna, you know, you re if you want her to be self-contained and happy, the real thing that I'd push in the last pose that you've got on five two four, is you know really trying to get her when she's all hugged up like that, you know, to actually just relax for a moment. See if you can have one pose, which is that she's gotten in that position, she's making herself comfortable, and she's just gonna relax a little bit. Shoulders are going to come down a bit, head's going to go up, she's going to stretch out, and if you can get this shape of kind of like her neck straight and her head just leaning forwards, almost like trying to eat the screen in a way, that'll work great. And the legs, you can just shift them to a side a little bit, so it's just really two poses that you need to get that feeling, which is one, you know, the one she comes into when she's in there, and then, you know, a nice relax where you can let every part of the body that you can get your hands on actually to just pull down and the head's going to be the part that pulls forward and that'll make it just a lot, a lot, lot uh, stronger. You could even take her glasses as well and lower those down a little bit as well so that you'll get the brow higher up as well and the glasses drop down as well. So try to play with, you know, that idea of part of the body dropping and part of the body going up at the end and I think that might just get you to the feeling that you're looking for. Okay. Anyway, man, it's looking great. It's good that you've thrown another shot in there. And yeah, just keep hitting it, man. You know, a couple of days left, so best of luck. Take care.